If you've got a vivid imagination, a museum can be quite a scary place. There are all kinds of shapes and faces hiding in darkened corners. So imagine what it'd be like to be locked up in here 24 hours a day. You'd need to be some kind of hermit. Coming right up to the top here. At the top of the museum's 120-year-old tower is the room where the hermit, man or woman, will live for two months. It'll take a particular kind of person to be up here on their own during the day and particularly at night I think because uh, a museum and a gothic tower can be a little bit, a bit creepy. I wouldn't like to be doing it myself. Hermits were often employed by 18th century estate owners to muse on issues of the day. The museum's hermit will communicate their thoughts via the internet or by notes. This collection of plants and herbs is right underneath the tower where the hermit will be asked to come up with some solutions to the planet's problems. The reason we came up with the Hermit Project is that the museum's part of the University of Manchester. It's in a tower. Universities have this slightly dismissive term, the ivory tower, and we thought we'd turn that around and make it the isolation in a tower a really important part, where you've got time and space to really think. So, so many of us are caught up with the everyday and the hurly-burly of city living at a time when the planet is facing some major issues, that we thought it's really important that somebody has that time and space to really think and provoke us to think. The hermit will take up the post in the summer. Application shut in a couple of weeks. Colin Sykes, Northwest Tonight, Manchester.